My name is Judy Reyes, and you are watching Real Gay TV. Hi, this is Raquel, and you're watching Real Gay TV. Hey, what's up? It's Wilmer Valderrama, and you're watching Real Gay TV. My name is Mike C. Manning, and you're watching Real Gay TV. Hi, my name is Harmony Santana, and you're watching Real Gay TV. My name is Nao Bustamante, and you're watching Real Gay TV. I'm Jen LaFort, and I'm with the film Jamie and Jesse Are Not Together. I play Monica. I play Jamie's older sister in the film. Care to tell us a little bit about your character? Sure. Monica is an older sister who thinks that Jamie and Jesse are really together, but is surprised with everybody else when she realizes they're just roommates. and thinks that they're all together all the time. <laughs> She's an older sister, lives in the burbs, has kids, you know, is trying to live vicariously through her sister. Uh, my name is John Cleland, this is Joey Scout. We are the creators and filmmakers of The Fairy Tales, a uh, short about uh, Snow White, Cinderella, and Sleeping Beauty all living together in the same house, uh, shot like a reality. So uh, it's a lot of fun. They're complete bitches to each other. and. Uh, if you want to see your favorite fairy tale princesses knock back a few bottles and drop the f-bomb a few times it's a good it's a good it's fun <laughs> it's a good film i'm good i'm tyler ross i was in the wise kids and this is sue redmond i she produced the wise kids mm -hmm. yeah. how does it feel to be an outfit oh, it feels great it feels great this is my first time in la actually just came straight from the airport basically <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, we're Chicago based. Mm -hmm. We shot our film in Charleston though, so the crew and the cast is about half Chicago, half Charleston, with a little LA, a little Pittsburgh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm Noah Shuffman, I'm uh, one of the leads of eCupid, and I am Houston Rhines, I am the other lead of eCupid. There we go. And I'm one of the producers. Yes, yeah, just one. But of you have a name. You have a name. My name is Nicholas Downs, but I'm it's one of the very producers. Important. Nicholas well, Downs, and was also the lead of Is It Just Me, who was uh, the film here at Outfest from our director J.C. Calciano last year. Yeah. E Cupid is about a couple who's in a relationship for seven years, and one of us, I'm not going to say who, gets the uh, seven-year itch and, and uh, downloads a mysterious app that seems to change his life and uh, starts to give him all the things that he thinks he wants and more, and uh, it is the journey of, of his journey with the app and everything that's given to him and me left to drown in my sorrows. Well, I have my wonderful short film called Slip Away that has been embraced and accepted at Outfest for this 29th year, which was directed by Tian Sportsafava and produced by Jen Garrison. And we have a stellar cast. We have Wilson Cruz, Tia Gill, Lauren Burriel, April Grace, and uh, it's, it's, it's gotten some really great reviews and we've won some awards already. We won a uh, Best Short Narrative over at Q Cinema, which is in Fort Worth, Texas. So we're hoping uh, to, that the uh, community here in Los Angeles will embrace this as well. Our honorees this year. Yeah. Introduce yourself real quick. Uh, Randy Barbado. Uh -huh. And Fenton Bailey. They are, they are the key. Yeah. From World of Wonder Productions. With World, World of Wonder. Wonder. It's, it's, it's an honor to be honored by Outfest. I mean, it's, a, it was, uh, it's always been a very special film festival for us. Mm -hmm. um, and we've gotten to share some of our favorite projects and show them here at Outfest. They, they're the longest running film festival here in Los Angeles. And we've been around for 100 years, so it makes sense. We are the golden girls of this festival. Uh, my name is Sheldon Larry, and uh, I'm the producer director of Leave It On The Floor, which is an original musical with 11 musical numbers. The music's largely written by Beyonce's music director, Kim Burst and Glenn. And um, Frank Gatson is our choreographer. He's done an extraordinary job. Um, we're delighted to be here at Outfest and excited for um, LA gay audiences to find our film. Working for the BBC, I actually did a dance film and that won some awards. So the idea of photographing dance was, was something I've actually always been interested in. Um, but it was an extraordinarily difficult and challenging production. The budget, we had four weeks to shoot, 11 musical numbers and three big balls. So um, it, I, I had to bring my A game. Uh, I'm Matthew Ludwinski. And I'm Allison Lane. And we're with Going Down in La La Land. It's uh, the time-worn tale of a struggling young actor that comes to L.A. with big dreams and the process of his disillusionment as he slowly falls into porn and prostitution. <laughs> it's a comedy! <laughs> it is actually.
actually, it's actually very, very funny. Very funny. Uh, but also, has some sad moments. I'm Neo Bustamante, and I want to take this opportunity to come out today as bi coastal. Yes. I'm East Coast, I'm West Coast. I've decided to come out. <laughs> well, you know, why decide when you can be good places? <laughs> Uh, well, I'm going to be, um, I'm part of the Platinum Series, the Experimental Film Series, and I'm going to be performing a film performance, film and performance, called Silver and Gold at Red Cat on July 16th, and then I'm going to be hosting the Platinum 10-year anniversary party. Yeah, we have to stop now. We have to, we have, that's the film I have in the festival. I say I have it, like I made it, I didn't. I was just like one of the stars, like the actor. We don't do crap. We like these directors and producers, like they bust butt and spend money and they bring the films in and we go like this, hi, on the red carpet. <laughs> Well, I want to know about that cruise you guys got out of there. Oh my God! And we got to cruise with Meredith Baxter. Saw her half naked. Um, yeah, put that. I'm controversial. I don't care. Um, we went on the cruise and filmed for the movie. That way we were able to literally take women who were on the cruise and go, you want to be in a movie? And then like make them be half dressed and say, this is a scene we're using in the movie. It was such bullshit because we weren't. We literally, because we're walking around with a camera, we're able to make women do anything we wanted on the ship for seven days. And we did. Free ticket is why I'm here. No. Uh, I like to support, you know, uh, anything that kind of shows the LGBT community in a great light. And uh, Office does a great job. Last year I was in a short film called uh, Shark Tank. And that got a lot of uh, great buzz down here at Outfest, so looking forward to see the opening movie. Eastside Morales, Judy Reyes, um, they were awesome. They were very supportive. It wasn't, I, I thought it was going to be a little rough because they know so much and everything, but they were very supportive and very helpful. Was amazing. Judy Reyes, who played my mom, actually met with my mom in person and they had a long conversation about what it means to, to be a mother to a transgender child. Um, but I, I can figure they had, they'll be here later, but I can figure they had a pretty rough time. Hello, my name is Mike C. Manning and uh, I'm with the film eCubit. Um, eCubit is about a guy's cell phone app that takes control of his love life. And uh, I played Temptation Number Two in that in that process. Um, I did just get I love Outfest written on my chest. I can yeah. This is how this is how much I love Outfest. She she wrote it for me. This is this is I'm gonna she needs to take credit for this. This is her penmanship right here. My, my, my. What was your name? Kate. <laughs> this is Kate, ladies and gentlemen. So if you have anything that you need written on your chest, call her. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, Randy and Phantom are, are two of my best friends, and uh, I, uh, I met them many, many, many years ago with a little film called Party Monster. And, um, you know, I, uh, I played DJ Kiyoki as uh, my colleague Colkin was playing Michael Alec, and as uh, Seth Green played James Sam James. And, and I've been part of their legacy for a long time, and, and to be able to be here on a, such a special night for them, uh, it just means a lot to me. I'm, uh, I'm blessed and honored to be part of his family. For me, this evening is about you know, celebrating uh, all that is the entertainment and all that is this community. You know, this community has come a long way. And, uh, you know, I think all of us in Unity uh, have won a big, big battle. And I think this, this, is, uh, this is a movement that is, uh, that is, uh, that is on its way to, to being exactly what it's supposed to be. And, you know, and Randy and Phantom are in the lead in front of it. And, and it's exciting to just be part of their, you know, their family. I, I'm Rashad Ernesto Green, writer-director of Gun Hill Road. It's about a, a Latino family in the Bronx whose father returns home from prison after three years to discover that his wife is estranged and his teenage child is transgender. Um, and um, it's, um, it's a story that was inspired by someone very close to me uh, who I saw his, uh, his family deteriorate over the course of a few years because of his inability to accept his child's transition but at the same time loving his child so much. And I saw a child who really needed her father. And I guess I wanted to, to make a piece of art that didn't necessarily give him all the answers. 
You know, I try to, to write three-dimensional characters. You know, this is about a Latino family and, and a side of the Bronx that we rarely get to see in films. Um, and we, we rarely get to see the depth and complexity of the Latino family, and I, and I took a shot at it. It was a, um, definitely a challenging role, a terrific script. I just jumped at the opportunity to take on the challenge as soon as I got the script, so I, I, I was uh, very grateful for the opportunity. And um, uh, just thrilled to work with Isai and, and Harmony and Rashad. You know, Rashad got uh, terrific performances out of all of us, and, and the end product just uh, brought us here to Outfest tonight. So. What else can you say? We've been doing the festival circuit ever since we, we landed on at Sundance. And we look forward to our opening on August 5th, you guys. you got to come out and support the film because a film like this needs to be seen. It's uh, uh, you're, I, I feel like it's your typical coming of age tale, but from a different um, point of view, from the Latino point of view, from the Bronx point of view, and from the uh, transgender point of view. I think uh, anybody, anybody can relate to it. Yes. It was brilliant. It was like a homecoming. It's the Bronx, and it wasn't some like multi multi billion dollar production where you just live in your trailer and wait till they call you. I mean, we literally hijacked other people's apartments nearby. Go, can we change in your place? Can we use it like a little bit? It was a real uh, authentic piece, and uh, I was honored. I dedicated it to my unborn daughter at the time. Uh, my gal was seven months pregnant and I made the sacrifice to not be with her for those crucial months because of how important I thought this film and I dedicated my performance to her. So, Mariana, I love you. I hope they love it too. Yeah, but when I saw it, especially at Sundance, it's the first time, I saw the people's reaction. It was like a gift to me and I think people will feel like they get something more than just entertainment from this film. They'll get to look at people who they may have looked at askance in the past with a different set of eyes and an open heart. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Raquel Castaneda, how are you? All right, and you're with the real Elmer? Yes, yes. How is that? Uh, amazing, it's a great show. It's it's a reality-based show about lesbians and us living our lives in LA. We love it. <laughs> yeah. It's it's kind of like being a vampire. You're never the same. Um, once you've experienced the other side, there's no going back. So it's it's pretty amazing. It's a great experience. Yeah. Do you marvel at what really happened and what they take and make of it? It's a really good time. It's like it's like making a salad. Bread ends up being croutons, and you throw a bunch of stuff, and it's a great meal. So yeah, it's a really good time. Yeah. What a night here. What a night. A night of glamour, a night of... What a night. A night of glamour, a night of gaze. Stop, stop.